Marine Band. What's the name of the band? The Marine Band. Oh, the Marine. We're actually going to go see the Marine Band. It actually already started. It's your main band from Washington, D.C., right? <laughs> the main band from Washington, D.C. She's going to check them out. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, we might have to sit in the grass, to be honest with you. Hey, you gonna help me get up? Here you go. This is the Marine, man. Please stand for the playing of our national anthem. This is the Washington, D.C. Marine Band. And welcome to the performance. We're so glad to have you with us this evening. It was a little warm here in the nation's capital. How many folks we have visiting from out of town? Please raise your hand. Welcome. Welcome to Washington, D.C. And our native Washingtonians. Are you out there? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome back. We're so glad to have you as well. This is the Washington we begin with Monument music as well. Famed American composer John Williams. Now, when you hear the name That's the John Williams, that. the first thing that may come to mind, the first Looking thing that comes to my it. mind, is the music from Star Wars. Maybe for you, it's the music from Raiders of the Lost Ark, the famed Raiders March, perhaps E.T., or any of the other myriad of film scores that he composed. The first thing that may not come to mind is the Olympics, but that's precisely what our first selection was written for. The 1984 Olympic Games held in Los Angeles, and John Williams himself had the honor of conducting this on the opening day of those ceremonies. I'm sure that you'll recognize this music if you have watched the Olympics on NBC. They use this all the time. This is Olympic fanfare from John Williams.
Our next selection was written by a composer with quite a name. He was born Francesco Ezechiele Ermenegildo Cavaliere Zuppe de Melli. But his friends called him Franz. He may not have the most memorable name, but you are sure to recognize the melodies from this piece. They've made their way into movies, commercials, and even cartoons. Tonight we feature the music of Franz von Zuppe and his overture to Light Cavalry. The Light Cavalry was an operetta that premiered in 1866 in Vienna. Now during this time, Austria was about to become a part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And so the Viennese people were very interested in Hungary and the Hungarian culture. Composers capitalized on this and found a way to infuse some hun Hungarian folk songs into their music to appeal to the public. And so you'll hear the Hungarian influence in this work as well. It begins with a bugle call, which suggests a military tale, and then as that famous melody unfolds, you'll be able to hear the cavalry and the horses galloping off onto the battlefield. We hope you enjoy this selection. Here's the overture to Light Cavalry by Franz von Zuppe.
Washington, D.C. Marine Band.